Yeah, got a signal on that one. <laughs> okay, so show us your signal. Are there some lessons in the web college that I need to do today? Uh, yes. I already did one. I, I did a lesson today. What was, what, what, uh, what, tell, tell us more about that. I did. Um, well, also when I, I'm, you know, the last couple of days I just kind of, like I said, I was a little edgy. So I went on to the, the website and today I did a trauma removal and uh, that felt really good. Yes. I just went last night for the first time just to learn. Okay, great. And have you, um, did, have you been getting signals? I don't understand what the signals are. I'm not quite sure, but I don't think I've gotten that far then. All right, I'll tell you what. Barb is going to show you, so I'm going to turn this over to her and you. So here is uh, you and Barb. Barb, take it away. Okay, hi, Chris. Hi, Barbara. Can you hear me okay? So yes. I'm going to just I'm going to go like say some things and have you say some things, and then we're looking for some kind of a signal through your physical body, like your fingers or. <clears throat> You know, that's usually how it happens. You know, so look for like a, a change in yourself. Um, I'll say a statement. The first statement is, I'm connecting with my ability to hear things. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Okay, so that's kind of that's a signal. So I'll say something else. Um, I'm uh, connecting with my ability to remove a virus. Yes. Okay, so when you get yeses like that, while well, you're doing this, uh, you know, this practice we're calling it immunics, every time you, we ask questions, when you say the word test, it means basically look and see if you got a yes. Okay. Okay, and, and those are fine, just your resistance like yes or no. Fit. Okay, there you go. And um, it looks like that's the next step, is like go in there and like try to follow along and get signals. Uh, I'm going to buy a go forward now because right now, now we could go ahead and remove your virus if you want to. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'll, let me explain how we're going to proceed next. So you are now getting signals. That's very good. Had you ever seen a signal? Did you watch the movie at all on the web college? It, you know, honestly, you, it was it was by luck last night. I, was, I don't know if I was in my sleep or whatever. I turned over and the next thing I know, this video is playing on my iPad. Start by telling people a little about us and who we are and also I want to show them how to test because when pe for anybody to understand this program those are the things that they need to understand so um, uh, everybody hold up your hand so we can see what testing looks like Okay. okay, so Ross has got her hand up and Keely has hers up and you all test differently. That's one thing we're going to notice is that people test differently. And um, so Barb's got her hand up and test this question, have I ever cured a medically incurable disease? And see if you get a signal. Yes. Okay, let me see your signal, Barb. That's what that looks like. Okay, she's just, she got it a minute ago. I didn't have it on camera. Can we test that question? Have I ever... I, yeah, my, my ring finger has been bobbing. Okay. And Ross? I, I got yes. Okay. And what does your yes look like? My, my fingers open like this. Just a little bit. They come apart, sort of, for you. Yeah, they come apart. Yeah. For okay. no, very often they, they press more tightly together. Okay. So now what I would like is for us to um, say the things that we've cured. For example, I've cured two kinds of herpes simplex virus, and I haven't had a cold or flu since 1993. And I've also cured a very, very serious case of hemorrhoids, completely gone. And uh, that's more recent. And uh, what about uh, Ross? What have say some things that you've cured? 
Okay, I cured uh, the flu and I usually don't get it anymore and I can uh, feel it uh, when it's coming. Right. Uh, for example, from uh, some of my students and I can, can kill it before it gets to my physical body. Right. And uh, then I uh, have cured anxi anxiety attacks. And yeah, uh, you were you were having backache. You were having and, panic uh, attacks. Yes, did you did you have panic attacks? No panic attacks. Not not that serious, but anxiety. Anxiety. Attacks, anxiety. Yes. Okay, okay. I didn't know. You know, so thank you. Yeah. And uh, then I cured my smoking. And then I've had let's, my uh, let's pause a minute. before before surgery. Ross. Working a lot with her. We were practically every day together. We worked on uh, on the tumor she had on the bone marrow, and uh, she was undergoing surgery for that reason. And she was very, very scared. So uh, we went through traumas and, and lots of other things. And that's your sister. Was that your sister? Excuse me, I can't hear you well. Was that your sister you're talking about? Help. My sister, exactly, yes. yes. So, in other words, you've helped other people, like you've helped your... You're an English teacher, right? Yes. Like you teach English at a school in Italy. You're, you live in Italy, and you've helped your students that, that see you in the school cure the flu. Yes. So your students don't get the flu, and you, they can come to class, right? Yes. So we've all helped other people. Barb has helped a great many people cure many things, and Keely, you've helped friends cure cancer, and many serious things with people and uh, and, and, I've and I, I uh, do immunics uh, with my cat and you help your cat too okay yes. and I help my cat so and Barb helps her dog and cat <laughs> and Keely helps the fish in the ocean behind her condo <laughs> she, she does immunics to keep sharks away when she swims no, I help the sea turtles <laughs> help the sea that's right help the sea turtles Okay. Right below my window. <clears throat> All right. So, so just the fact that you were able, and Keely and Ross have been able to quit smoking. Barb, did you ever smoke? I never smoked cigarettes. No. Uh, but, but the fact, Ross did use this to cure smoking, and I think you can see from that, you know, when you mm -hmm. think about that, that Ross can help you lose weight because if you can. If you can help somebody cure smoking, you can help them lose weight. I cured, uh, uh, about uh, 12 years ago, I cured nodules and scarring in my liver um, and a potentially serious liver condition. Um, I cured a low-functioning thyroid permanently, uh, cured a tendency toward a, a fibrocystic breasts, uh, questionable mammograms. Since I start, stop, started removing it, uh, I never got questionable man mammograms again, cured countless colds and flus, um, and then non-physically I cured uh, negative beingness and uh, uh, just numerous issues. Mostly well, I want to go back to something. When you say that you cured uh, liver nodules, one thing that we need to make clear is that you were di medically diagnosed by, I, I guess it was one of the top doctors in Philadelphia. He's the head of gastroenterology at Jefferson Hospital. That's right, and he's the, he was your doctor and he diagnosed you with liver nodules and then you had a liver biopsy months later after curing this and there, were, there was nothing. Yeah, he couldn't explain why they had, were, you know, what happened to them, but they were gone. We're miracle workers. Your, what's your story with weight? I was, I was a very chunky baby and uh, <laughs> and then it was, it was normal as a kid, and then when I, in adolescence I gained weight. I was always about 20 pounds overweight during my adolescence, and uh, and then I finally cured it. Uh, you know, after I started working with you permanently, that's when I cured it. Okay, um, Barb, let's go to what what have you cured? Let's do do that next. Uh, I've cured. I've cured a lot of things. I've cured uh, clinically HSV1, Epstein Barr. Um, I, I use a lot of this preventatively. I don't get any colds or flus anymore. I, I've always tested or often tested things like um, cancer, 
Parkinson's, things like that, MS, fibromyalgia, but I've never manifested them. I've right. just cured them before I manifested them too intensely. But I have you, symptoms. You've I, cured addictions. I don't anymore. Um, you've depression, cured. anxiety, addiction. Your, your, your audio I've helped a lot of other people cure things. Barb, your audio so The things that you've cured. Uh, well, thyroid nodule symptoms, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I can't claim that the nodule's gone, but I'll get there. Uh, cold or flu, I don't know, it would have been either one. I got rid of that. Um, oh, that's right. You let a flu come on to see if you could cure it, and then you cured it. <laughs> I did. I, I did. <laughs> do you guys do that, too? No. I so, have. Right. <laughs> I have never had the opportunity. I've never had a flu try to come. I didn't even notice I wasn't getting the flu anymore until about a year after I stopped getting it. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. This movie was given to you by HUM, the World Ministry of Immunics, which enables you to cure medically incurable diseases. We also produce the Cure Drive in the iCollege of Immunix. This is the home page. And as you see here, the movie that starts playing automatically when the page opens is a three-hour tutorial film, which underneath it is a, the beginning of a series of movies. And if you click on these links, uh, you go to another movie that's a continuation of the tutorial. Uh, showing different aspects of uh, the things that people need to get into when they cure things. The movie shows many people curing things. You'll find complete cure tutorials on the home page. Um, under the group at the top is another. Uh, this is a video and text tutorial. And uh, if you click on the link, uh, you'll see it has 10 lessons and you can click on the, each lesson and you'll see it that the lessons are movies interspersed with explanations. And if you continue scrolling down the home page you'll find a huge bank of movies of people curing things. Here's one of someone curing multiple sclerosis that you can click on and these play. Hopefully this one will play in a moment. There it is. <laughs> so that woman cured uh, PPMS and MS. Here you'll find people from every continent, Europe, the US, Asia, Canada. This woman cured shingles and in this particular movie. She, that's what she's uh, demonstrating. And at the top of the home page, you will find links to the uh, cure meetings that we have every week. Um, 9 p.m. New York time, Rome time, 8 p.m. Underneath the cure meetings uh, you'll find a link to friend me. It's actually Bayard on Bayard speaking to you on Facebook and you'll meet many people who are my Facebook friends there who have cured various diseases. Many of us have cured herpes which is what I cured. Also there if you have trouble getting signals there is a uh, whole bank of movies that focus on people who are just starting to get their first signals. Uh, many of these people went on to bigger and better things and you see them in other movies. But these are movies about their signals. How they got their first signals. At the very top of the home page you will find above the uh, masthead a link to the cure shows and we uh, documented people curing things on these are on the, we did this on the phone there are shows on about 75 diseases 
and the diseases are listed alphabetically as you can see. Uh, you actually hear the people curing these diseases during these shows. Uh, that's post-traumatic stress syndrome from 9-11, you know, the uh, catastrophe. Uh, we have a show on that and fever, somebody curing the fever. Several people curing fibromyalgia, flu. We had a flu hotline and there are many people. These people are actually curing flu and the flu stops. It clears up during the 15 or 20 minutes of the call. It doesn't take long to cure the flu. Uh, over here you have uh, paralysis, parasitic parenting, Parkinson's disease. When you cure something, please uh, join your voice with the voices of the many people who came before you by reporting your cure in our poll, which you can do right above the tally of the cures that people have reported is here at the top. And as you can see, there's a little link here. And if you click on that, you will come to a form that enables you to report your cure. This page is the hub of the Web College, and as you can see, there are uh, detailed lessons on how to remove viruses, cure cancer. Here's a movie on the right here of a doctor who actually years ago cured the flu on camera. You'll notice that skill one in the hierarchy of skills is cure physical diseases. Um, that's the very, that's the, actually the easiest thing with this particular approach. And I've uh, put a great many things in the hierarchy of skills that relate to cure, fi curing physical diseases, such as ending trauma, working on your organs. Now, if we go into the recode your DNA, these are, there are f 10 applications or 11 applications, and recode your DNA is one of them. If we go inside here, what we see is a page with a huge amount of links. And then if we look at the links on the right, after the ones on the left which prepare you, these are the actual lessons. And you can see some of them it might be hard for some people to see why blind installation procedure is related to recoding your DNA. And this is why we've put it in this application so that it relates it in your mind. This is The reason the Web College is organized the way it is is to relate things for you in your mind. And obviously there are a huge number of things like if you're curing cancer or herpes or any medically incurable disease, it's obvious that there are a great many things that you have to learn. And they're different for everybody. You do not have to learn everything that's listed here. <laughs> and in fact, cure is instantaneous. And it's always unexpected how it will come. Like watch these women. They're going to give you a perspective. This is a good way to conclude this little overview I'm giving you here. I go to the 144th dimension. See if you get a signal on that. Can I go to the 144th dimension? Can I go to the 144th dimension? Yes? I guess I can. Go ahead and do it. Okay, okay. Uh, both of you go to the 144th dimension. I'm taking myself to the 144th dimension. Mm. Yeah. Me too. No stopping for gas on the eighth dimension. <laughs> <laughs> um, test if you're there. I'm there. Me too. Okay, describe what it's like on the 144th dimension. I feel uh, clear.
Yeah, I feel uh, less interested in anything below the 144th dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stay here all the time? Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> I, don't feel like I didn't hear the word you said, Jim, when you said how it felt. You said, I feel clear. it. Clear. Clear, okay. Yeah. Clear. You can go there and you'll be clear when you're there. Are you clear about anything in particular? And it's okay to say no to that. It's, it's, it's just asking. Yeah, I feel, um, well, I mean, this would take a lot of backstory, but I, there are some decisions that my family's making that have, that I now feel clear about. Yes, because when you have that perspective from the 144th dimension, yeah. you, like, you simply don't care about anything as much. That's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care doesn't sound so good. <laughs> well, see, that's right. I, it, but it's it. That's really not it. Effect. When, when, you hear, when people hear we say we don't care, they go, well, God, that, you, that's sick, you know. <laughs> okay, I know. <laughs> <laughs> 